All right, like thank you for the video today. Um, came in the shop the other day, wanted to back the golf cart out. This unit doesn't have a lot of hours on it. Um, we do take it to the RV parks. Um, some RV parks allow the Can-Am, some allow the golf cart. Um, we've taken the Can-Am to more of them lately, uh, but we've got a trip coming up that we're gonna take the golf cart to. And so just hopped on it the other day to back it out of the shop. Of course, this unit only has a few hours on it. Pushed on the gas pedal, battery was dead. Well, I noticed that the kids, I guess, had left the blinker switch on. And um, so the blinkers weren't working or anything like that. So I got the trickle charger out, just put it on two amp and let it charge, you know, night and day. Came out the next day and I noticed it had some fluid under it. it looked like some acid ran out and I popped it and the battery was swelled up and leaking fluid out of the caps. And so I was like, eh, you know, I really don't like that because I put it in a toy hauler. I don't want any acid ever coming out of it. So pulled the old battery out, cleaned it out real good and uh, really wanted to get an AGM battery. Um, you know, just for me, that's my preference. Um, you know, you can buy lithium, you can buy AGM, you can buy wet cell, but I really like the AGMs. Um, I like them if they're sideways, they don't leak. There's no, you're never really gonna have any leakage come out of AGM. You know, lithium, it's great too, but you've got to keep a certain amount of charge on it and then it has to be temperature controlled also. Can't get too cold, can't get too hot, all those things. So anyway, AGM just works for me. I really try to find, and I guess the main reason doing this video is I try to find out what group number the battery was so that I could purchase it and uh, just wasn't having much luck finding out the group number. So I took it into Interstate Batteries today and I uh, asked them if they had an AGM and they said yes. You know, I think it was 60 or 70 more bucks to get the AGM. It was an Optima. Uh, that part number is an SC35A. So it is a group 35A battery. Um, so anyway, the poles are reversed, but you can flip the battery around to get it right. So I'm fixing to put this thing in. The other thing I noticed is when I charged the battery, I tried to get the blinkers to work. And if you look, this is the flasher. It's right up by the steering column. Looks like it, uh, go ahead and melted its day. So ordered one of these off Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. And like I said, that's right up under there. Checked all the fuses. Everything is good. So I'm going to put this battery in. We'll get the flasher tomorrow. We'll put it in. Blinker should work. But, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing put in, get it bolted down and get it hooked up and get charged on it. Okay, so this is your group 35 installed. I did have to trim that back tab off back there. And then we'll have to trim a little piece right here under this wire harness to get it in there. But once you get it in there, everything bolts in. So a little die grinder, a little bit of trim work, but it fits well. Like I said, thanks for watching the video. Please hit that like, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.